God bless you, God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To him all the praise, to him all the glory. Right. I speak uh, a couple of times about this subject and uh, <laughs> to our Lord. <laughs> He's so special. I him, to him all the praise again, again, again. Uh, please stay with me. Uh, this message is very special and if you are uh, connected with this subject is anyhow or maybe you are the woman you are the pleasure woman you live or you you in the past you live by your lust by your own desires your feelings your own thoughts and you leave God and you will return back this message and the other message also if you get more understanding what the Bible teaches us about you there is nothing new under the sun that means you can sh the bible can show you your solutions your healing your deliverance and um, god is never changed he loves you he wants to take care about you want to be your father and if you um, walk in his guidelines his word then he will lead you and he will heal you and deliver you and only by listening to teaching you can uh, if you're doing want to doing the will of God and you love God and you love his word uh, he can deliver you by listening from by and teaching and it is not only the teacher what speaks but he speaks the word of God and he speaks true and if you speak true you can deliver it by in speaking that you can uh, res then a certain doubt about your situation, about your life, can leave in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> That's my prayer for you. Right. This I want to read first uh, the uh, uh, the portion what I uh, mentioned many times. To deliver day from the strange woman, even from the stranger with a flatter with her words which forsaken the guide of our youth and forgotten the covenant of our God. It's a Christian woman and they leave God. It's in, maybe you are raised up in a, in a Christian home and you leave um, God. You will no longer live by the guidelines and the truth and you don't want to submit yourself uh, to um, uh, if you are get married or or you want to submit yourself if you are growing up as a child, uh, you are a teenager, you don't want to submit yourself to your parents. Listen, and if you leave God, then work this out that you leave His law, His love, His confidence, and also you leave life. And the confidence speaks about you are, you have, an, uh, uh, you are, have by this. Um, and uh, oneness and uh, appointment and uh, with God and if you give your life to Christ as you make a confident you're making you give your life and you don't longer live by your own you are living uh, by the will of God right uh, verse 18 4 and this Proverbs 2 verse 16 and, and now reading 18 for the house inclined unto death and the pet unto death none that go into her everybody first 19 everybody is making attachment with this body uh, with her with her then you go into none that go into her you have sex neither take their hold of the pet of life you lose your pet of life this teaching gives you a uh, guidelines and more understanding of what it means and also repentance the way up and um, you must, um, the Lord must give you. Uh, it's uh, that can only receive if it is given from heaven, and that is your heart desire to repent. If you are only listen to, yes, you want to benefit yourself. That's also good, and maybe the Lord can use this uh, treasure or this knowledge in your heart to bring you to repentance. <laughs> but if you want to receive, uh, then you have a willingness to. Uh, repent and to turn from your ways and turn from your ways means that you turn from your own doing your own, own feelings and you make a decision I want to do it I want to make it 
uh, in God's way. And that means, and that's Proverbs 3, verse 6, acknowledge him in all his ways, and he will stretch your ways. And that is no longer leaning on your own understanding, your own mind, your own opinion, but fear God. And don't be like wise, be wise in your own eyes. Yeah, that's, that is the, the line before, the line after uh, Proverbs 3, verse 6. Very key to understand. And make this a scriptures what I share with you, your protocol of life. And so this brings you up. And we read that... Um, that uh, the, the Bible teaches us that the, 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 the chambers of death are going down and the hell the, is also is, is, is going down and the, the, the heaven is going up. And um, right, if you make an attachment with this woman and you are a man, you receive death in your soul and in your body by receiving her sin in your body. Right, uh, Jesus, have mercy with us. I want to read one scripture to uh, that can God can long, wait a long time on you, and, and it's Romans 2, verse 4. Or despise thou the riches of his goodness and the forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leadeth to repentance. God can show you uh, for a long time a lot of patience to doing well in your life. And you think by yourself, oh, it is no, there is no really not a need to repent or doing good. You receive Jesus in your heart and you walk in your own ways. But that is not what God wants. He wants to show his affection, he show his love for you, and he wants to do good to other people, uh, uh, to give things and to help you in your life. If, but if you are in a if you bring yourself in a position no longer to perceiving to run after Jesus, bring yourself in a position of comfort, then you will step back in your faith walk. And you will uh, despise the riches of the goodness of the Lord. And Paul say, run after Jesus. Run. This is a run after the faith of one. Run. And you have to pursue. You have to press through. And it's not always easy. But this means this is you have to press through every day. There's no day that you can say no prayer or no reading. It is, it is a lifestyle. But it's more than a lifestyle. It is a relationship. And you cannot say to if you are married to one day to your, uh, to your spouse, today I'm not speaking, today I'm not, uh, I don't like you. It's not possible. You are married, you are in confident, and uh, you are married, and then it, it's, it's, that is the deal. And you cannot do it on your own opinion, your own feelings, and your, if your feelings are a little, oh, 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 no. Right. Very, very, very good to know. I want to read an, um, a protocol and principle and very important scripture for you. If you are the woman and you know the depths of sin, to know the depths of that you receive in doing sin, uh, having sex with men, many men, and or m a couple of men, and you step in relationship and out relationship, and you have depression, and you do all things of things are, but God is a faithful God, and God loves you. I, I and if you listen to other teachings, you give more. But I I point not every pre uh, preaching teaching uh, uh, all things again out. I want to share uh, this scripture and I was waiting um, right I want to round it up it's um, I hope so I can share with you and protocol principle about repentance 
this for now is this um, enough that the Lord will keep you and give you understanding and bless you in the mighty name of Jesus.